What works? It all adds up. It's all, you know, if you said to the, to the bean counters, what would happen is if this happened, they'll give you a report. Oh, this is going to happen. Our insurance premiums will go up and our risk will go up. Our, our workers' compensation percentage is going to go up and we're going to have problems with this and then we're going to have people inspecting and we're going to have this and we're going to have that. And it's just all reduced downtime. So if you invest in your staff, you give them the training that's needed or even what they want to train in, they'll stay with you. Technology was where we were going to get our efficiencies in the business. So we needed to make sure that we set our crews, our field-based crews, up for success for, for this particular system and any other systems that we introduce down the track. Technology is, is coming in thick and fast in, in every business and in our business in particular. It's in all aspects. So we needed to make sure that we got our field crews ready for any type of technology change because that's where you drive your that's what drives your efficiencies. The attitudes actually change towards technology. They embrace it now. They feel confident. Uh, they feel confident in doing their job. They know how to use the computers. They're not, they're not so afraid of them anymore. We've got a new learning management system and an e-learning platform. The guys now do e-learning every quarter and they're, they're just getting so much better at the computers. We've got guys that come up to me and say, Kim, we've, we've got Facebook now or I just text my granddaughter and they're just using technology and they're not frightened of it anymore. So it's built their confidence. Our lost time injury frequency rate has been reduced from 9.81 down to 1. That's how we know that it's been successful. A priority one job is something that needs to be fixed within a two hour time frame. So it could be a burst water main, it could, could be even a sewage spill, and we need to make sure that we get onto it straight away. So the average time for priority ones has been reduced by one and a half hours. So a few times that by 20 work orders a day, those efficiency gains are, are pretty huge for our business. They've increased their typing skills and the speed in which they do that. Um, they've, they've also increased their, the navigation skills I think was one of the key um, factors because as you know, in any system there, you, you need to know you need to know where you've got to go to find things. So that's, that's been really good. Um, the communication between each other has been has been really good, and I think it's actually closed some of the some of the communication gaps in um, with the crews and the supervisors because they have been working together more closely. They're actually being able to apply those in other systems. Um, how they apply for leave, that's a new system we've also introduced. Uh, they apply for their leave online, they can they do their training online. So we've actually introduced so many different systems and they've been able to use these same skills and apply them across the board. Yeah, I think the the um, the compl or the regulatory compliance um, is definitely an area or a return on investment also. We are actually in a customer service business and we need to make sure that they are getting the best possible service we can provide. So um, yeah, it's really important that our, when our crews interact with our customers, they're interacting in a positive way. It's absolutely worth the money. When you think about the efficiency gains, the changes in, in behaviour, in just in attitude towards computers, um, attitudes towards um, the, the change of the work and the fact that they've, they've come along for the, for the journey, that's, that's absolutely worth it.